where different groups of community-based organizations and uh, we are attending this uh, capacity building kind of workshop to improve the capacity of the local organizations to be able to address in a professional way the needs of the communities that they serve and uh, the organization that uh, I am with uh, I am chairing is called Women's Voice in Development now we have started to work but we needed some technical kind of guidance such as this being given sponsored by ADRA and we think it is very important because it will improve the way we have been operating the way we are going to operate that as we live we have also to operate professionally with the technical knowledge and this is what has been given here so we are grateful that this opportunity is made available to our local communities and uh, our people operate deep into the countryside but even in the countryside you need more professionalism more technical knowledge to be able to discharge that kind of responsibility appropriately so some of us are chairing this organization some of us are actually working as the ceos for these community-based organizations and we know that with this kind of training the capacity will be built for us to be able to develop to be able to do, deliver even better and for these organizations to grow so i think this is something good which is being imparted to us knowledge will help us to do better i'm kola toros mwaka uh, executive director for pade concerned women and children association we are based in pajule town council pade district uh, a brief of our background this is a, a women organization which uh, we formed in 2011. I also thank the government of Pade District. They registered us. We have a registration number 216. Uh, based on today's meeting, I thank Really Together program and uh, Canada for supporting us as ADRA to come for this training, capacity building, which is going on very well. Uh, and uh, I think after this training for five days, we shall have more knowledge on how to write proposal to get other donors to support the organization. And in fact, I need to thank the team leader, Daniel, and together, and our, our biggest donor of Canada, it is not easy to pick on a few CBO, but uh, all these CBOs, when you, you really give them the capacity, they have the uh, opportunity to go and work with the grassroots uh, uh, community who are at the ground. I think, thank you so much for what you are doing for us. May God bless all of you. Thank you. Okay, my name is Dong Jojo To, and the facilitator for a four-day training on organization strengthening which is organized by HADRA together with the Global Affairs uh, Canada being the main funder for this uh, project. I'm very happy that HADRA have initiated this training which is meant to strengthen the capacity of CBOs, the community-based organization uh, the main focus of this training, as I mentioned earlier, is to strengthen the leadership. That is when an organization having a clear direction of vision, a statement, the mission statement, the culture and values that underpin their intervention and behavior of their staff and board members and also the structure for reporting and accountability in their organization. I would like to talk a little about TOGETHER project, which is actually funded by Global Affairs Canada. And I want to thank the Canadian government for their support. This project, uh, looking at the, the targets, the community-based organization and the grassroots 
community uh, management committee. I believe that it will reach far and wide, espe especially in addressing the common sexual and gender-based violence, which is quite rampant in our community. These infrastructures which are being strengthened will live and help far beyond when this project ended. Uh, we have been informed that it is designed to end in 2027. But the kind of skills and knowledge which is getting imparted into these groups will last beyond 2027. And we believe that bit by bit our communities will get transformed, uh, they will be aware of their rights, and they will also appreciate the involvement of women in development process. Unless women are respected, girls are respected, our development initiative shall not move far. Unless all of them are integrated and brought forward, I believe we shall achieve livelihood development, quality education, even health. So this is part of something that I feel it is important for Canada government and also Global Affairs Canada to understand that their investment is likely to create impact. The way I see it together is approaching the community for change. Thank you so much. My name is Nobat Oki. I'm the Advocacy and Public Relations Officer, ADRA Together Project. We thank uh, the Government of Canada through Global Affairs Canada for coming up with this initiative. We are so glad and we are so happy that uh, this project is reaching out to the right targeted people. Today, we are in the, in the second day of our training. We have gathered here, brought together people from different uh, backgrounds. We have community-based organizations represented here from the four districts of Pade, Kitgum, Agago, and Lamo. I'm also very happy that we have been able to uh, bring here some community members, that is the Community Management Committee, to participate in this training. We are training the grassroots women's organizations and some of the local organizations on organizational development. We believe there will be our eyes in the community where we are not able to reach as ADRA Together Project. They will carry on and do the right work for the development for the positive changes in our community.